Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have some new makeup products that I've bought recently and I wanted to try them on camera for the first time for you guys. Some of them are also PR makeup products that were sent to me by the brand. So we'll talk about them in the video. So let's begin. So the first product that I want to talk about is the new Cups and Lashes Foundation. Uh, so this is called their Cover Capsule Hydrating Foundation. This was sent to me by the brand. They sent out four different shades of foundations and I think my shade is Espresso which is what I am wearing today. So the packaging looks pretty average in my opinion. Um, it's a complete plastic packaging. Even the cap is plastic and the bottle itself is plastic and you can see through what shade of foundation is present inside and also there is the shade name written at the back as well. It also says that you have to shake well before you so that's exactly what I did. Shook it really well and put it on my face. We all know Cuffs and Lashes is an affordable brand and they've priced the foundation pretty well. This retails for rupees 549 only. This is the outer carton that the foundation comes in. When you open the main foundation cap, you've got the pump which again has a nice little cap inside. So the uh, foundation bottle is pretty secured. It's not going to spill anywhere which is great. And that's how the foundation inside looks like. You just have to pump it on the back of your hand or on a palette and put it on the skin. Now the consistency of this particular foundation is a little bit of a thicker um, liquidy consistency but when you put it on the skin and blend it out it feels extremely lightweight. Also this particular foundation has 35 ml of product. Generally you get 30 ml of product in a regular foundation quantity. Um, so this is an amazing quantity. You get 5 extra ml of product inside this foundation bottle. Also notice that the foundation was extremely easy to blend on the skin uh, because of that hydrating property that it has. Talking about the coverage, it's definitely got a medium to high coverage. You can easily build this foundation to a higher coverage foundation and yet look uh, pretty natural I would say because it doesn't look cakey on the skin whatsoever. I'm loving how the base makeup looks today and that's solely because of this particular foundation. It's made my skin look absolutely youthful and healthy and also um, has added a lot of coverage wherever it was necessary. The shade Espresso is a great great match on me. Initially it looked a little too orange um, when I swatched it on my face but then after blending it out and settling onto the skin it becomes one with my skin which I love. Another good thing that I noticed about this foundation is that it hasn't creased even one bit um, on my smile lines which generally these kind of hydrating dewy foundations um, do is that they crease up pretty quickly on the smile lines. This particular foundation hasn't done that so far which is a great thing. Now I also want to take a moment and appreciate Cuffs and Lashes for bringing such good shade options especially for duskier skin tones. Um, there is another shade that they sent to me which is in our deeper category in the shade Rich Cocoa. Slightly deeper than the shade Espresso as you can see. So I really appreciate Cups and Lashes for doing that. Even some other renowned brands do not bring out shades for duskier complexions. Most of the times duskier skin tones are neglected in the beauty industry so I really appreciate the brand for bringing up such beautiful shades for dusky skin tones. I also added a little bit of a blurring effect on the skin. It's like a little bit of a natural filter which I really love. The next product is an eye makeup product which is what I have on my eyelids right now and it is the star of the show. So I'm talking about the Daily Forever 52 Glitter Flakes I think it's called. Yeah, it's called the Twinkle Stars Flakes and this is in the shade Euphoria and the number is 016 and it is such a gorgeous purpley pink um, shift flake and on the eyes I can even see a lot of green in there more than purple. So yeah, I've already tried this particular flake in a different shade earlier on my channel. Um, that was also exactly the same. I did not use any eyeshadow underneath this particular glitter flake. It just applied it on my bare eyelids with a well prepped base with a concealer and that's pretty much it and I smoked it out at the um, outer corners to give a bit of a depth to my eyes. And that's pretty much it and you can see how much of an impact this particular glitter flake has. It looks absolutely gorgeous and so magical on the eyelid. It doesn't need any glitter glue, nothing of that sort. 
it just sticks on its own on the eyelids which is amazing but i also want to point out that the packaging becomes super super messy so when you open it up there is another lid inside so you've got to pull out that lid to take out the product and as soon as you open this lid thing the glitter just flies everywhere which i do not like i wish that forever 52 oh my god can you see that there is so much of glitter flakes flying everywhere i just wish that forever 52 finds out a different way of packaging this product so that it doesn't get everywhere but other than that this is such a gorgeous gorgeous product even though it's a flaky um glitter eyeshadow it doesn't feel flaky on the eyes or pokey or whatever. It's a very very thin flake so it just sits so beautifully on the eyelids without making you feel uncomfortable. This was on a good good discount on Nykaa when I bought it so that's the reason I picked it up and the color was so die for. It is such a beautiful multi-chrome shift glitter. I also picked up this Max Factor Face Finity Blusher in the shade um, Sun Kissed Rose and the number is 50. And this really, really reminded me a lot of the Milani baked blushes. Can you see the packaging even? It's a little bit bulgy on the center and looks like a baked blusher. But even though the blusher looks super intense in the pan, when you put it on the skin, yes, of course, it comes out intense. But when you start applying it and brushing it, um, on the temple area it kind of softens and tones down so it's not as harsh as it seems in the packaging and also I did notice that the blusher has kind of faded away right now I'm guessing this is not a very long lasting blusher formula but the color is very very pretty it's a beautiful rosy toned color and something that is suitable for dusky skin tones it's a completely matte finish there is no shimmer nothing in it so it's great for oily and textured skin maybe if i layer it with a liquid blusher underneath this would last much longer so probably i would do that the next time i use this particular blusher i totally forgot to talk about a brilliant makeup brush kit this is from elf this was also on a good good discount on nika this is the elf flawless face six piece brush collection so obviously this contains six different pieces of brushes in it which you can uh, invest in if you're a beginner and looking for a great quality brush to build in your kit these are the six brushes that come in the brush kit so these are the six different brushes that come in this elf brush kit so two of them are face brushes and all of the other brushes are eye makeup brushes except for this one particular brush this is like a concealery brush but you can also use it to apply your shimmer eyeshadow the main brush in this kit is the ultimate blending brush which is super super soft and has the perfect kind of shape to apply and blend your foundation it's very soft and gentle on the skin so that's great you also get this really nice um, small stipple brush it's really good to give that flawless finish on the skin for your foundation powder concealer whatever i use this particular brush to blend out the concealer as well as the cream contour and it blended the product so beautifully on the skin i can see myself using this brush to apply my liquid blushes as well that's gonna blend in so beautifully with this particular brush and we've got a large eyeshadow packer brush which is really good i use this brush to apply the glitter that you see on the eyelids i use the angled brush today to kind of create that border to my smoky eye again this is a pretty sharp angled brush so you can use it to create a smoky liner or even a gel eyeliner then i use the concealer brush to apply my um brow bone highlight and sort of to highlight the bridge of the nose and all and it worked perfectly fine for that as well of course you can use this brush to apply your concealer for example under your brows to clean it up or to clean up your wing to clean up the lipstick wherever you want and also to spot conceal the only brush that i did not use today was the double ended spoolie and angle brush this comes in super super handy when you fill in your eyebrows spoolie is great to comb through your brows and the angled brush is great to fill in your um gaps in between your eyebrows since i use the eyebrow pencil today i didn't find myself picking up this brush i can totally see that this is a great brush really good basic brush kit for beginners in my opinion if you're just starting out with makeup this could be a great great 
brush kit to have in your collection. You don't have to restrict yourself to use the brushes for one particular use. For example, the foundation brush can also be used to apply your uh, powder, blusher, contour, bronzer and even to blend out your concealer sometimes. Uh, you can totally make your brushes work in a multifunctional way according to your needs for sure. Then I picked up this Miss Claire lip liner. This is called their True Color Contour Waterproof Lip Liner and this is in the shade 14. It's like this dusty mauve pink color. Let me just watch it here. That's how the shade 14 looks like. It's like a dusty mauve rosy kind of a shade. Looks very very pretty on my skin tone but it's not as intense as I would like my lip liner to be. I generally like my lip liners to be slightly darker than my lipstick shade so that it creates a soft little contour around the mouth. It's also nice but this is more of a MLBB lip liner kind of a shade on my skin tone and also it reminds me a lot of a high-end lip liner that I recently got so i have to check if this is a dupe for that particular lip liner and i will definitely share it with you guys this one is a great inexpensive lip liner in my opinion it is decently pigmented and glides on the lips pretty easily i also use the cuffs and lashes liquid matte lip color in the shade mlbb and the number is 19 on my lips today of course i'm wearing a gloss right now but before this i applied this right on top of the lip liner that i just showed you and this is such a gorgeous gorgeous rosy nude kind of a color. It's a rosy nude with a hint of peach in it which looks stunning against Indian complexions. This looks great on me with a lip liner. I'm sure this would wash me out without a lip liner so a lip liner is a must for my skin tone. If you're someone who has a lighter skin tone than I do, this will look amazing on you. It's such a gorgeous nude color. It's not crazily pigmented as some other liquid lipsticks in the market. It's kind of like a sheerer formula and goes on super liquidy and comfortable on the lips, which I kind of like about this particular um, liquid lipstick. Sometimes I do not like a full intense pigmented liquid lipstick on my lips that looks like paint. Rather, I would prefer a natural looking matte veil of color on the lips and this is exactly what this particular liquid lipstick does to my lips and I love 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 how this particular shade MLBB looks on my skin tone. The final thing that I use on my skin today is the Smashbox 8-in-1 Primer Essence. This is called the Photo Finish Revitalize Spray. I've gotten this in a mini variant. Of course this comes in a full size bottle as well. This contains 30 ml of product. It's got a white cap and when you open it, you've got the spray nozzle inside. And the mister of this particular spray bottle is super, super, super fine on the skin. But I also noticed that sometimes in between, it also splashes few droplets of the setting spray on the skin. That could be an issue for some people. I've loved some of the Smashbox primers as well as setting sprays. So I wanted to try this one as well. Uh, this is a setting spray which hydrates your skin but doesn't make it look oily or dewy which I absolutely love for someone who has an extremely oily skin type and want to um, sort of refresh dry looking product on the skin. Something like this revitalized spray could come in handy. It really doesn't alter the finish of the makeup but just meshes all of the makeup into one and holds it in place and adds a bit of hydration on the skin. This kind of a setting spray is gonna work on all skin types, be it oily, dry, normal, combination, whatever, you're gonna love the setting spray. So yeah, I think once I'm done with this mini guy, I'm gonna get a bigger bottle for sure. Those were all of the new makeup products that I got to try recently. All the products that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box as usual. I really hope that you guys found this video useful, helpful and enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is the take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye